Global War 36 enthusiast here with Operation From Russia With Love, Term 2.5, Commonwealth. It is January 1937. I have two tech rolls. First, I tried for radar at a seven or higher. PBE generated a four, so I failed. Second, I tried for improved construction at a seven or higher. PBE generated a six, so I failed. Uh, so purchases. Let's get over here. I still have to get uh, Italy's destroyer place, and I might have missed it. We might have talked about where where that goes, but uh, for Great Britain, I have 12 IPPs, and I'm going to spend six, uh, two, two infantry for six, one anti-aircraft artillery for four, that's 10, and one militia for 12. Uh, for FEC, I have five IPP. I'll purchase one infantry for three and save two. For ANZAC, I have four uh, IPP. I will purchase one infantry and save one. And uh, I'll come back to the French later, but I have uh, eight. I think I have eight. I, no, no, no. I have 11 IPP. And I'm going to uh, purchase three militia for six and save six, uh, no, five, save five. <laughs> this might be a bad idea for me to be filming this uh, so late at night. I see my brain is not functioning. Let's see if I can, if I can uh, rally here. Okay, so let's go to non-combat movement. We'll swivel over here to uh, England, and I think we also need to get Ottawa on camera. So that should that should do it for us. And I guess I'd also like to get down here to, can I also get Gibraltar? Excellent. Okay. Um, Southern England. This air transport from Southern England is gonna fly to Ottawa. From, uh, also from London, these two infantry are going to move over here to southern England. In C zone A21, this coastal defense ship will move to A35. One, two. From A21, this battle cruiser and these three heavy cruisers are going to move down to A44 and they will go in port in Gibraltar. From C zone A21, this naval transport will pick up the infantry from southern Europe. I guess it has to leave uh, port first. It'll pick up the infantry from southern England uh, and go one, two, three, uh, drop off the infantry in Gibraltar and go in port in Gibraltar with everything else. In C zone A28, this submarine is going to come up uh, to A21. From A44, the battleship that's in A44 is going to move up 1, 2, 3, up to A21. Just uh, talking about what I have in A21 right now, I have two battleships. I have, uh, you know what, I, I forgot, I want to move this light cruiser from A21, 1, 2, 3, down and go into port with, with the battle cruiser and the three heavy cruisers and two transports. All of that is in port Gibraltar. Okay, so going back to what I have in A21, I've got the two French battleships. I've got two British battleships, two British destroyers, two British submarines, and two British um, torpedo boat destroyers. And I guess I got nothing in port. That's all just hanging out in sea zone A21. Let's go down here to Gibraltar. Um, in port here, 
I've got this battle cruiser, three heavy cruisers, a light cruiser, and so far I've got two transports. One of them just moved in there. The other one is going to be leaving. This other transport is going to leave port and it'll go back to A21 and it'll go in port in southern England in the shipyard that's uh, connected to A21. That's where that naval transport is. That's the only in port thing I've got up there. I'll show you that because I didn't, I can see now I didn't have that on camera. There it is. Okay. Um, there's two destroyers that started off in um, A44. You can see them next to the French. And they're going to go over here to M2. I'm sorry, I said M2 to M8. They're going to leave A44. Two destroyers are going to leave A44 and go to M8. So sorry for my confusion. From Gibraltar. Is there a way I can get both of those on camera? Yeah, okay. So from Gibraltar, oh, I already said that. That's the one that went up to Southern England. Yeah, okay. Um, from Lower Egypt, um, let's swivel over there. Okie dokie. Let me go get these guys down on camera too. So from Lower Egypt, this naval transport is gonna leave port and go into the Red Sea. Then it's going to go one, two, three, over to. Oh God! I what I what I really need to do is just zoom out. I'm so sorry. I'm trying not to uh, do this, but it's just so much easier. I can get I can get so much on camera if I just zoom out like this. But let me know if it's too much. So he left port here, and then he went one, two, three, and then he's going to go in port in Gibraltar. Ah. Uh, in C zone I-5, down here I've got that heavy cruiser and the destroyer, and they're just going to move up one space up here to M8 and join this, uh, this group here. And from I-4, I've got this task force here. Uh, it consists of a light carrier with a fighter, a battleship, and a destroyer, and they're all going to move to M8 join the party. Let's lump it up together up here. Okay. Um, so let's just talk about what I've got in M8. I've got a light carrier with a fighter, a light carrier with attack. I have one battleship. I have two heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, one, two, three, four, five, six destroyers. Uh, in M8 Coming down to South Africa. Oops. This is where we need tilted a little bit There we go So this transport is gonna leave port and go into C zone I1 it will pick up one infantry from Cape Town, and then it'll move one up to I-2, one up, uh, a second move up to I-4, pick up the infantry from British Somaliland, and move its third movement to I-7, dropping off two infantry in southern India. And uh, I think, do I have myself going into port there? I do not. Okay, one infantry from Delhi will move into southern infant in, into southern India. So I have three infantry there. Uh, from Bengal, one Gurkha is going to move from Bengal to Calcutta. From C zone I fourteen, I fourteen. That's this guy right here with the the tank symbol. They're going to move one, two, three over to I four. It's a light cruiser and a destroyer. Ends up light cruiser and destroyer. Um, from C zone P50, this coastal sub is just going to move over one here to I 
what is that? I it help if I yeah twelve I twelve from P sixty four. Let's get over over here just a little bit and we can't capture P sixty four. This naval transport will pick up one infantry and one artillery from Queensland, and then strategic naval move one two three four five up to um, C zone I eleven and drop off these two guys in Calcutta, and then I'm going to go in port in Calcutta. So in Calcutta, I have three British infantry, one Anzac infantry, one Anzac artillery, and one Gurkha. I know that there these might be FEC or whatever, but for all intents and purposes, the British act together. The Anzac have to be separate because they could surrender. Uh... And I think, I think uh, that is it for my movement. Now it's just placement of units. So down in Sydney is where I'm going to place that infantry. And uh, Sydney has one left over and they collect three. So they end the turn with four. I said Sydney, but I mean Anzac. Um, and then FEC. FEC had one infantry. I'll place that in Calcutta. And they had two left over. So I collect five and I will end the turn with seven. And then Great Britain, I'm gonna place one infantry in Cape Town. Let's see if we can get that on camera. There we go. So one infantry goes in Cape Town, and one infantry and one. Uh, I I think I messed up, you guys. I think I said I bought a militia at the start. I mean a militia upgrade. Um, let's see. Let's go back. So I have one infantry and one anti-aircraft gun here in London. And I, at the beginning, I said I bought a militia, but what I mean is I'm buying a militia upgrade. I'm upgrading the militia in Ottawa to an infantry. Uh, okay. So, was that on camera? Yeah, it was on camera. Great. So I've got all my purchases. Uh, oh, how much do I collect? So Great Britain's at 12. Uh, they end the turn with... 12, right? That's, I was at 11, I think it was at 11. Anyway, um, correct me if I've made a mistake there. I think I am ready to go to turn 2.6, right? Or did, did Britain have an extra one? Or did I spend, what? I, let's see, Great Britain. Yeah, I, I have, I end the turn with 12. Yeah, okay. Uh, my brain is totally not working. Um, I'm going to do a PBE for the French tech. I'm rolling for advanced mechanized. It's two po Now we're starting 2.6. I already showed you my builds. Of course, that's the one that I succeeded on. Irony. Uh, France advances to uh, stage one on advanced mechanized. And I purchased the three militia that I showed you earlier. So movements uh, from M1, where I just purchased that French sub last turn, it's going to move three down to M8. One, two, three. And from M8, these two subs that were there are just going to pass one through the Suez into I5, hang out with their Italian buddies in I5. From Syria, this naval transport, the Didier the Dax, is going to pick up the infantry and go one, two, three. It's not Didier, it's Didier. Didier. Uh, I'm so sorry for masquerading your name, Didier. Okay, um, and it'll drop off that infantry in northern Algeria. And then from C zone uh, I 4, uh, that's not quite on camera. Okay, this guy right here, yep, he's going to pick up the infantry from French Somaliland and go one, 
two, three, four, five, using strategic naval movement, and drop off the infantry in southern France. Placement of units, I will place the three militia into Paris. I guess I have it over here on my purchase units. I'm saving five. So in Paris, I just add the three militia. Everything else stays the same. And then France is at seven, I believe. Yep, so I collect, I end the turn with 12 with France. All right, um, any other housekeeping? I've got next up is a board gaming bro with turn 2.7, Italy.